بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته dear students of the third year at the Open Educational College in Najaf welcome to you to our lecture today in which we are going to discuss chapter 3 which is titled cohesion what is, the, what is meant by cohesion let us read this uh, text and we are going to show you what is the meaning of cohesion okay first of all probably cohesion means joining a text together with reference words, okay, example, he, theirs, the former, etc., and the conjectures, example, but then, so that the whole text is clear and readable. Okay, this unit practices the use for reference words while conjectures are examined in unit, uh, unit 3.5. Let's now uh, seize or capture the definition of cohesion. Cohesion, uh, the definition begins with the word joining, okay? So, uh, underline the word joining, text together with the reference words, leave this in uh, under uh, two brackets, leave it, and conjectures, underline this, okay? And leave these examples, leave them out, so we, co we complete, so that the whole text is clear and readable. So, I'm going now to read the definition of cohesion. Cohesion, joining a text together with reference words and conjectures so that the whole text is clear and readable. Okay, this is the definition of cohesion. Okay, so now let's now define or uh, know what is the meaning of reference words. Reference words, these are used to avoid repetition. Okay, for example, let us read this text and know what is what is meant by what by uh, reference words Leonardo da Vinci was 50, uh, a 15th century Italian genius who produced only a handful of finished works however they include the Mona Lisa and the La Sapa the former perhaps is the former perhaps the most famous painting in the world Although he is re uh, remembered mainly as an artist, he also was an innovative engineer, scientist, and anatomist. Okay, this is the text. I th I'm sure that you have noticed that words that are in the bowl, okay? So these are the main words, and these are what? The reference, the reference words. Okay, let's now discover what is the main words and what is the reference words. Here are reference words uh, function as well. Leonardo da Vinci, reference words is he. Finish works, they. Mona Lisa, the former. Okay, so instead of repeating the same, the same word, we can uh, replace it with what? With the reference words. Okay. And instead of repeating the word uh, Leonardo da Vinci every time, we can replace it with the with the pronoun he. And instead of repeating the two words, finished works, we replace them with the pronoun they. Mona Lisa is replaced by the former, etc. Okay, examples of reference words and uh, phrases. For example, pronouns like he, she, it, they, these are the first words. Possessive pronouns like he, uh, his, her, hers, etc. Objective pronouns like her, him, them, etc. Demonstrative pronouns like this, that, these, those. And other phrases like the former, the latter, the first, the second, such as. Okay, you have to keep each title with their examples we, as a reference word. Yeah, for example, if we are asked about pronouns, we can you say he, she, it, they, etc. Or if they, if we mention he, she, he, she, it, they, we can say they are what they are subject to pronouns. Okay, for purposes of pronouns, we can keep these words. Okay, these seven words. And so, so let's move to practice A. Read the following paragraph and complete the the table and complete. The table. La Ferrera, 1979, has researched the life of cycle of new businesses. She found that they have an average of life of only 4.7 years. 
this is due to two main reasons one economic and one social okay the former appears to be uh, a lack of capital the latter a failure of uh, to carry out uh, sufficient market research the failure to carry out uh, su uh, sufficient market research uh, sorry la ferrera considers that together these account for approximately 70 percent of business failures this is the text and i'd like you to uh, notice these words words in bold okay let's now move to uh, to the reference and reference words okay for example reference la, Fer la ferrera replaced by she okay new businesses okay here is the word new businesses okay they are replaced by the word they okay average uh, average life of only etc replaced by the word this okay uh, one economic one economic replaced by the former social replaced by the latter okay because here, here if we have listen careful if we have the word and the word that comes before and is the formal the word that comes after the word and is what is called the latter okay okay the former and the latter the former and the latter okay these okay both of them both of them okay called these okay let's move now to another uh, okay preventing confusion let us uh, read what is meant by preventing confusion to avoid confusing the reader it is important to use reference words only when the reference is clear for example okay i'd like you to underline this to the word clear this is very important this is an important note look at this pablo picasso moved to paris in 1904 and worked with george black from 19 uh, 1908 to 1909 he became interested in analy analysis of form which led to cubism cubism uh, in arabic يسمى المذهب التكعيبي خاصة في الرسم يعني المذهب التكعيبي في الرسم okay look at Pablo Picasso the word he okay we, we do not know if this word he belongs to Pablo Picasso or George Black so he the, the pronoun he is what is confusing where because we do not know if it belongs to the first one or to the second one in this case follow this in this case it is not clear which person Picasso or Black is uh, and the pronoun he refers to so to avoid this right okay we are going to rewrite this text Pablo Picasso Pablo Picasso uh, moved to Paris in 1904 and worked with George Black from 1908 to 1909. Picasso became Picasso. We re repeated the noun because we have two male nouns. Two male nouns. So for that reason, we uh, use the word Picasso. Picasso became interested in the analysis of form, which led to cubism. Practice B. In the following paragraph insert a suitable reference word from the box below in the gaps more words than gaps we have these words that we want to fill to the gaps i'm not going to read all the text but i'm just going to answer the gaps uh, okay uh, blank a or letter a we put the word he in b we put the word his in c also the word his because it is repeated okay in d we put the word it okay in e we put the word this in f we put the word what he okay in g we put the word they and in h we put the word this okay this is the answer we can't fill it out and check it if it is possible practice C ladies and gentlemen read the paragraph okay below and replace the words in bold with the reference words 
okay here here is the text and here are the words in bold and we are going to replace them okay i'm going to read it follow me carefully velcro is a fabric fastener with used with clothes and shoes velcro here it is repeated so we can't replace it with the word it because it is what it is in animate it was in invented by a swiss engineer called george d mestral mestral here is the word can be replaced by his because we have possessive s his idea was derived from studying the tiny hooks found on some plant seeds the tiny hooks these words can by replaced but can be replaced by the word they they cling to animals and help disperse the seeds mestral spent eight years perfecting also this word mestral can be replaced by the word he because it is repeated okay okay he spent eight years perfecting his invention mestral because we have uh, if we have Possessive S, we can't replace it with possessive pronoun. His invention, which he called Velcro, from the French word velour and crochet. Crochet in French. Crochet. The, inv the invention, this we can replace by this. Okay, this was patented in 1955. Patented in Arabic is, uh, yeah, the and patent this uh, <coughs> this is a passive voice was patented by uh, 1955 and today over 60 million meters of velcro are sold annually okay practice D use the following information okay to use uh, to the use of reference words inventor okay these are the information and we are asked to do what to do a text just like uh, this before for example the inventor is wallace uh, carothers uh, the company is uh, dupont corporation in usa okay the carothers uh, position director of research center carothers background the chemistry student specializing in polymer uh, molecules composed composed of long chains of atoms properties strong but fine synthetic fi fiber uh, patented in 1935 mass products in 1939 uh, applications uh, stocking uh, toothbrushes parachutes fishing lines surgery, surgical threat okay so we, yeah, we are asked to write a paragraph just like the one before okay uh, about this elevator okay try to do one and inshallah I'll give you uh, the best or, or the righteous one when inshallah when we are going to read in the next lecture that is all what we have today thank you for listening and inshallah we are going to read in another lecture Mr. Haider Marabi most of you have a good day.